How can something as beautiful as this be dying? A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. Welcome to Biomutant. Encode your DNA. Define your genetic structure. Encode your DNA. Define your genetic structure. Choose, a, choose your first style. Choose a genetic resilience. Choose your first style. Pick your main color. Choose your detail color. Pick a club. Dead eye. Dead eye. Mercenary. Dead eye. Commando. Cyphreak. Saboteur. Sentinel. Saboteur. Cyphreak. Commando. Deadeye. Mercenary. Deadeye. Com Commando. Commando chosen. Good choice. Here's somebody with a troubled past drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're all re But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the dark side of you. Your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of the balance and consequence of your action. Can't believe you'd choose that over me but I'll be here waiting for you when you have a change of heart that thing better huh? the best guess left can be right sometimes Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature. 
I'm the one that preys on others. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began and the Tree of Life started to die.
Oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment, changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Those are the kind of things you need. emergency box from the once was a rare sight
sight looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. this place. No, really, I mean it. The Morks produce biomatter in their multi that they shed under the stress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed including you. Time to see what's above. Toxanol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arks traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste, and without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. 
Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. There you go. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Big cheap trigger finger. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. The scrap keeps piling up. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then, the night everything changed. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree.
asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. Sounds like he thinks she does, despite your heart growing dark. There's nothing as powerful as a Mooma's love. <laughs> the potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow. <laughs> you might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy. And e <laughs> the Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one cut. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete. <laughs> Only time will tell. <laughs> You'll need it. You handle that now, <laughs> and you've never done anything else. He's impressed. <laughs> One... <laughs> Now that you from the he says you better hurry back to the village. No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the World Eaters arrived. The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eaters' DNA into overdrive. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his Octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. 
He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Two wobble.